Hello and welcome. In this video, we will try to understand the practical difference between melee and melee efficiency. Okay. So for this practical difference, we'll take a FSM, and for that FSM, we will try to write an HDL code, and we'll try to verify them. Okay. So here, particularly, I'm using System Verilog HDL. You can take any HDL. You can take VHDL. Or Verilog HDL or System Verilog HDL it doesn't matter. So first we'll try to understand the specification, and for that we will write one FSM, and we'll write one code. For so the specification is saying that the output Z is depend upon the value of input W. So if the value of this W is 1 and in the next cycle it is also 1 then in the next clock cycle output will be 1 else output will be 0. Okay. So let me explain you with this table. So as you can see here at this T3 the value of W is 1 in the next cycle the value of W 1 Hence, in the next clock cycle, the value of this output Z is equal to B. Similarly, as you can see, at this T6, value of W is equal to 1. In the next cycle, T7, W is 1. Hence, in the next clock cycle, the output will be 1. Else, output will be 0 in the rest of the other cases. Okay. So, for this simple specification the FSM will be like this okay and this is the melee FSM before moving to this let me explain you the difference what is the difference between melee and more FSM so the first point saying that in the mil in the more FSM output is a function of present state only whereas in melee FSM output is a function of present it present state as well as input let me explain you this point with the help of diagram so as you can see this is a simple diagram for understanding the million more FSM. this combinational circuit circuit is the output output logic this flip flop is a present state logic and this combinational this combinational is in next state logic okay remember this three things is in the mind and this line as you can see this pink line is for melee FSM okay so the first point was output is a function of present state sorry the next state and input so this is what the melee okay output is a function of input as well as next state okay Whereas in case of more FSM, output is a function of next state only. So if you remove this line, you will find this output will be function of this next state only. The next point is for more FSM, more number of states are required, and for melee FSM, less number of states are required. So if for this specification, if we try to write the FSM, you will find for melee two states are enough, whereas for more FSM three states will require to implement this same logic. The third point is more hardware is required as the states are more than more hardware required. Okay, if more hardware is required, then delay will be more here. Okay. Hardware in terms of gates you can consider. Okay, so more number of gates will be there, then more delay will be. Whereas in melee, less number of hardware required and less delay will be. And the next last point is that there are very less chances of glitches in the output. Where in case of melee, glitches may be there. So we will understand this glitch point with the help of this uh, diagram. Okay the clock diagram the waveform after writing the hdl code 
so you can understand it. So now we'll try to understand the FSM and then we will try to write the HDL code for it. So the melee FSM is like two states are there A and B and as you can see whenever reset is applied it is there in the A state okay. and whenever there is input is 0 output will be 0. Whenever input is equal to 1 then it will goes to B state and output will be 0. If it is in B state when input is equal to 1 and you can see this present uh, the present state here okay the input 1 and the past input is also hence the output is equal to 1. Okay, whereas if you are in if we are in B state and input is equal to 0 then if it goes to A and output will be 0. Very simple. You can write the state table for the same. It is also very simple. So this is what the melee FSM okay. Two states are there. For the same specification if we try to implement that with the help of more you will find that three state will be there. Okay. So whenever reset apply it will be in A state. Okay. When input 0 it will be in A state. When input is equal to 1, W is equal to 1 it will goes to B and output will be 0. Okay. If it is in B state input will if input is equal to 0 then it will goes to A state where output will be 0 whereas if it is in B input is equal to 1 then it will goes to C and output will be 1 why because the present input is equal to 1 and the past input was 1 so output will be 1 if it is in C state input is equal to 1 it will remain in the same state Whereas, if it is in C, input is equal to 0, it will go to A and output will be 0. And you can also write the state table after, after implement after implemented this FSM. Okay. Now, we will try to write the HDL code and we will try to understand two points. One point is this synthesis, okay, in which we said that for more a FSM, more state will be there, hence more uh, hardware will be required okay. and that glitch point okay we'll try to understand that also so let me show you the simple code HDL code which I have implemented using system very log HD so here the input is W reset and clock and output will be Z okay. here I am declaring two states a B with this enum function okay enum data type and explicitly i am declaring binary encoding and this state type i am saying that present state and next state pn and ps and ns and the present state logic okay so I, I, as i mentioned in that block diagram that present state logic is a sequential logic so this is the sequential logic in which we are saying which is you know uh, the asynchronous reset okay. in which we are saying if a reset is there present state will be a else present state is equal to next state and the next state logic is a combinational logic so here I am writing a combinational logic by following that same FSM you can write the code so if we are in a state input is equal to 0 will be same state else okay else if meaning if input is equal to 1 we are going to B state you can see that. if we are in B state input is equal to 1 then we will be in B state else A state okay so 1 then next state is equal to B else meaning if input is equal to 0 then next state will be and default step we are saying A and here we are writing the next state logic sorry the output logic so as as I told you that with this diagram in melee FSM the output is a function of this state 
and the input okay so we are saying that we are in a state okay then output will be zero here okay and we are if in b state we are checking the value of input if it is one then output will be one else output will be same okay very simple and we are writing a very simple test bench for that we are here you know instantiating our design okay, and generating a clock and just applying a initial values for reset clock and input and printing the values of all input and output and here we are just writing the stimulus block we are generating a stimulus block. and if you synthesize this logic okay so you will find the hardware is like this this is what the present state logic this is the next state logic and this is what the output logic we can understand similarly and and after doing a simulation of this okay, you will see the output like this okay and here you can see if you observe this is what the glitch in me what glitch means is that in simple term glitch means the unwanted signal which is appeared for very you know less for for, for a very minimum time so it's you know one here for very less time so this is what an unwanted glitch and this can be eliminated in mode fs so that point right remember as i told you that uh, in mele fsm maybe glitch will be there and hardware will be less because states are less here <coughs> similarly if you write the code for more by understanding this uh, <coughs> by understanding this diagram if you write the code which is also very simple okay. so same one state will be more over here and you can uh, by seeing the diagram you can write this logic present state logic next state logic this present state logic is a sequential logic next state logic and this is the three segment coordinate logic and this is what the output logic so as you can see over here output will be one in the c okay so output will be one in the c in b a and b will be zero the simple logic here. so output is a function of present state of the memory fs and as we discussed over here. Okay. so this is a memory fs and if we are considering this to this is the media fs <coughs> and the simple test bench also same test bench okay just we need to add no no need to make any changes here. very simple test bench same as we wrote for the media fs so if you do the synthesis of this rd you will find the synthesis result something like this so this is what the present state logic which is sequential this is what the next state logic and this is what the output is <coughs> so here you will find more number of you know hardware compared to the media fs and after doing a simulation of that we will find there is no any glitch okay in the output side then in case of media we will find glitch over here <coughs> So if you do the simulation, you'll find there is no any glitch. And by this present state and next state, you can then find it. Okay, so with this, I hope you have understood the practical difference between media and mobile FSM. Okay. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.